Hey guys. So, um, <clears throat> we're here with uh, Title Tuesday. And uh, we're waiting for round, round two. Um, show you guys what the round one was. Got a chance to put it on stream. I was, it was a short game actually. Yak attack. I'll show you very quickly. <coughs> He got the square in the center, and we got it back. The knight's hopping around on light, trying to get back that pawn. Uh, castle quickly. Got the pawn. Now we have the golden dark square bishop. Golden dark bishop. And, uh, bishop very strong. He opened things up, but now our dark bishop is more active. Okay, well, we have our game starting here. Do a little, uh, little Budapest. A lot of Budapest in this Tile Tuesday. <sighs> David six. Uh, I don't mind taking it, actually, getting to an end game. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. I don't mind it. Da, 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 da. Let our kick her out. Go knight here. Bishop here. Uh, let's go knight here. Try and get the knight to c5. Wow. I think we just go f6, right? Wait, this is interesting now. Um, take f6 now. How about, how about taking it in knight c5? Let's go knight c5 here, yeah? I'm trying to put pressure on that c4 pawn. Now what, no, knight e4, I guess, right? Let's go ninety four. Let's start. Let's let's see it through. Ninety four looks fine. And now what? Now bishop c five, I guess. Bishop c five doesn't. I don't mind. Um. Rookie eight. Let's do rookie eight. Actually, rookie eight. Let's see if he takes here, we have b six. Lock him up. Now we have bishop b four. Bishop b four is really good. Yeah, yeah. Getting the getting the the momentum. A lot of momentum things here. It's a lot about the momentum. Okay, now we go here. Now we go, let's see, bishop f7, I guess. I guess, right? Trying to get the pressure on the on the bishop. Hmm. I feel like I feel like bishop c5 is fine. Bishop c5. Get our knight to c5. Bishop d6 actually was probably the best. Yeah, bishop d6 was good. Ooh. We take the knight c5. But now his pawn on c4 is, is a bit worrisome. In some cases, we have knight b3 check. Um, 
David 8. Oh, that's a good move. That's a good move. And now, let's see. Let's see what we got. Rook E8, I guess. That's all right. Um, let's play A5, I guess, right? A5. Keep him at bay. I guess, right? We make a rook d1. Rook d1 is, hmm, how would we be doing there? Okay, let's see, hold on, hold on. Now, now, let's see, now let's see, uh, bishop h5, I guess? Bishop g6, maybe? Bishop h5, I feel like that's the way. All right, let's try bishop h5. Not playing sharp enough. This is not good. Not good. We're not playing sharp enough. It's all right. Mm. A four. Okay. Let's see.
shit. Oh my god. What a crazy, what a crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a crazy game. We just, I don't know. We, we, we really butchered the opening. And, um, all right. All right. Let's see if we can get the Twitch on the, on the phone. Mm -hmm. Don't log in the phone. That's not the idea. Okay. Okay. Da 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 da. Yeah, that was uh um. Okay, we are live. Just making sure now. How do I do this? Okay, hey Merrick. Full string. Hey, hey. Okay. All right, all right. Here we are. It's a little hot in there. A little hot. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little hot. All right, let's see. Okay, Bishop David three. We have uh, we have a stone wall. Like a <clears throat> Done a lot of work in the in the Budapest last week or two. Making some really nice headway. We have a couple chapters gonna be the meat and potatoes chapter. And beef stew. Maybe a couple of nice chapters. Okay, Queen E one. Here we are. Yeah, let's get that knight to E five. Let's let's hop right in there. How do we do? How are we doing here? Uh, take, take, take knight g five, queen d five, maybe. Ah, let's do queen e two first. Let's see if we can get queen e two. Idea being, we want to take and then and then get back our light, but our queen needs to be on light. If we give up a light square bishop, we don't want our queen to be ready on the light squares. I think now we can do it. Actually, I think now we can do it. I feel like now is the time. Okay, here we go, knight g five. That guy we had him last game. We just we just like we we were just a little bit too 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 soft. You had to be a little more vigilant. This this one second increment, you really gotta hit hard early. Otherwise, they they equalize and they they survive. A little bit more uh, aggressive, aggressive, a little more aggressive. How are we doing? How are we almost trapped the queen. G4 maybe? Let's do G4. How about it? Okay, we'll get that. We'll get the pawn. Uh, yeah, right. The pawn's on light. What are the pawns acting as? What do you guys say? Pulsing. What do you say? Was the pawns acting as mini bishops? David, six. wait, what are we doing here? We play David six. Yeah, we just take. Not bad. Do we do knight c3? I guess. Uh -oh. We're up a pawn. Up a pawn, doing all right. Hop and scotch. Up a pawn. I 
So what am I consider that? Um, we go we go bishop here. I want to get our golden bishop to work. I'll put our golden bishop to work. That's that's first things first. First things first. First things first. Put our golden bishop to work, right? Let's kick his queen away, I guess. We could do that. We could do that. And now, Bishop coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's coming around the mountain here? Get in there. <laughs> we pushed the pawn or Bishop David. I think we pushed the pawn, actually. I feel like pushing the pawn is the way. It's weird. The, the bishop, uh, it blocks the rook, and the pawn's going through. Next thing we know, the queen's going to want to act as a light square bishop. You guessed it. You guessed it. You guys guessed it. Queen acts as light square bishop. Why? We don't have a bishop. Do we go b7? Not yet. I don't think we do that yet, actually. Rook h1? I don't mind rook h1. I don't mind it. His rook is hanging. He might miss the rook. I feel like he's going to miss the rook. He's gonna miss. He doesn't miss it. Okay. We do have b7 though. Queen is a queen, no? I mean, a queen is a queen is a queen. Don't they say that? A queen is a queen. Wow! 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 Queen is a queen, no? Why every position feels retarded? Feels crazy. Why every position we play is, feels crazy? Why, why is it? What exactly is going on here? Okay. G5. Now we trade queens, right? <laughs> Crazy game. These guys are fighting. These guys are fighting. Not gonna lie, these guys are fighting, right? What do we got here? Cook queen here. So we'll make, make sure no monkey visit. Whoa! Hey, Magic Nut. Not yet, not yet. I was gonna play in Vegas um, a week or two, like two weeks ago, but I got caught up. Had some stuff going on. I'm planning some things on the horizon. Have some norms. Mina potatoes, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Mina potatoes. Okay, I'll give you guys a sneak preview. Sneak preview. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Let me see. I have it written down here. <coughs> I want to hear feedback. The three chat. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be the Budapest. I don't know if you guys, whoever, some of you guys might be familiar. The Budapest for Jarowitz. I'll show you. I'll show you for Jarowitz. How do I do this? Uh, analysis. Yeah. yeah. Let's see for Jarowitz. Let's say we're black, right? We're black. D four, knight f six, c four, e five. This is a sneak peek in the Fajaros tape, 94. This is the Fajaros of Budapest. Um, there's a line where it goes straight to the endgame, very concrete endgame. That's meat and potatoes. That's chapter one. Meat and potatoes, the Budapest Gambit Basics. Chapter number two. Jungle Stew, Taming the Chaos to Create a Quiet Feast. And then chapter three, Gambit Declines, where they don't take it. Let's say they, they don't take the pawn. Uh, a gambit decline serving up a solid defense. So that's that's what we're looking to do. Yeah, I hit uh Yeah, plus, <laughs> imagine that. Yeah, I know you hit a rating as high as as twenty six hundred USD. Do you think it's realistic to one day reach such a fide rating? Also, or is it much harder in fide? Um, it's harder in fide. Um, well, you don't need 26 feet a to, to be GM. You need to just perform that. Um, that's a lot of work. That's like a lot, a lot of like training and oh, a lot, especially nowadays with openings and just so much technical stuff. But, um, that would be difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. 
Yeah. But the GM norms is, is just my own doing. I'm my own worst enemy in that. Just to get in, uh, tend to be choking in some tournaments. We got there. Oh, oh. Okay, Magnus Carlsen is here, by the way. Magnus Carlsen is in this tournament. So we're two and a half out of three. Is that correct? Wait, what, what, what is our score? Let's hold on. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, so we won the round one. We had, Then we drew, and then we then we won. That's fine. So we um, actually kind of like the early draw. Looks out nice. Let's see if I can turn the air conditioner here. Let's see. Hey Siri, set air conditioner for 72 degrees. Hey Siri, set air conditioner for 72 degrees. Okay, not sure how to do this. Fan is on. It's a hot day here in Boston. Hotter day. We'll see. It's a hotter day in Boston for the week. Had some tournaments last weekend. Playing again this weekend. Hanging around. Me and my buddy Mark Esserman uh, hung out a couple times. It's nice. Mm. All right. Let's see what round three of eleven. Next round starting soon. Let's see why we. Well, Okay, there's two more games going. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is Amon Hamilton as black. Rook and Knight versus... Uh, Rook and Knight versus Rook. Oh, no, no, the other way. No, no, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> Knight versus Rook. Yeah. Tournament went well. It was a nice tournament. It was It was called the... It was... Here in Bo the Boylston Chess Club, and if you, if any of you guys are ever in Boston, the, my my buddies run the Boylston Chess Club, and it's 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 just a great 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 club. It's amazing. Um, it's in a great location. It's like a huge, beautiful, beautiful place, and um, and yeah, you know, I love it. Anyways, they 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 ran this tournament on, on Saturday. It was. Um, it was um, Gladiators versus. Ooh. Oh, we're playing. Uh, <laughs> we're playing. Um, what's his name again? Dimitri Andreagin. Cool. All right. These title Tuesdays are are tough. All right. Uh, let's go B six. Dimitri Andre and uh, it was it was basically ten strong players versus ten weaker players. And um, let's play bishop e4. Do we do f5? Let's just take now. Let's take first. Let's take first and then play, play f5, no? And basically, yeah, the, every, the lower players, but basically they paid, it was a good chunk of change to enter the tournament. Um, and um, they played up every round. So I played down every round, like significantly down. And uh, it was good. It was, it, was a good it was a good time. Um, do we do H6? Take H6 now. 